Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. I'm in my yard with the uh, Hubsa Mini 1 inch. We are going to start a screen recording and we're going to test this gimbal out again. So back to the Hubson app, the Hubson 3 app. We have three satellites, so we're going to have to wait a couple of minutes here. I will. Uh, skip ahead of this for you guys so you're not here waiting and waiting and once I get enough satellites we'll come back or maybe I'll let you guys wait and see how long it's going to take so I'm up to eight everybody was wanting to know how this drone is for getting satellites and it's not that great here in my yard for this drone but my other hubsons there we go so eight's enough that's a low number for satellites but we're going to go with it uh, now we have nine so let's take off no obstacle there we go and i just calibrated the compass the home point has been updated okay so video it's a nice day, but it's windy. Uh, I believe it's 14 mile an hour wind with 20, 21 gusts. So we're now recording. Let's take the drone up. I believe we're in normal mode here. So we're not gonna go too far, guys. I just wanna see if uh, gimbal's gonna be okay and no jello. As I have new PIDs put in from a subscriber that is an engineer and uh, he knows what to do with PIDs setting them up so seems like it might be okay here See how far away I am, only uh, 99 meters. I thought it might be a little too windy today, that's why I stuck here in the yard. If I go down near the water, it gets uh, much worse. I'm not seeing any jello yet, but he also told me it wasn't perfect. He still had to uh, kind of fine tune them. So I think I'm just going to keep this drone, guys. I'm not going to waste $150 to ship it back. And then God knows if they're going to send me another one with the same issues anyway. Because I'm not the only person out there having PID problems with Jello, And it was the same way with the Xeno Mini Pro when that came out. Hundred and thirty nine meters away, just over the neighbors' backyards. <laughs> Connections down into the yellow. Now I think the update kind of uh, said it dealt with that with better connection. But I'm not getting a there we go, I'm into the white now. Let's actually put our antennas up this way. So they are more facing the drone. I had them kind of angled out a bit. So we'll fly down once more. Let's see if we start to go into the yellow again. Keep the antennas perpendicular to the drone. Yeah, I'm not going into the yellow now and I'm down same distance as I just was. Actually further now guys, 150 meters. 170. That's 200 meters right there. I'm just going into the yellow now. Two bars of yellow now, it's back to white. Full white. Start coming back. At least I'm not getting uh, the drone kicking out into Addy mode. I got 13 satellites right now. 
So I can tell you guys I didn't like that day it did that. I think I had around eight satellites that day. So it seems okay now. I just uh, wish Hubsome would get on the ball and throw some more updates out for this. The only thing so far was like a flight controller update. Nothing for the camera yet. We're down to 90% on the battery, I think. No, 84. It's kind of hard to see on this phone. Got a few seagulls floating around up in this area. I wish you could take a picture with this while you're filming, but you can't, so we're going to stop recording. We're going to put the camera on. And snap a photo. There we go. We're going to turn around this way. And we're going to get another photo. I kind of want to face the sun a bit. Right there. Snap a photo. And face my home. Snap another one. I'm going to go back to video and start recording. Kind of uh, doesn't want to take its command right away when you hit that record button. So it's not too bad today, guys. It uh, seems much better. Now, if you want, if you're having problems, I will share the PIDs that he gave me. Just let me know, and I'll put them in the comments. Actually, I'll probably put them in the, uh, the video description. I'm just going to pull a slight little circle me around above my home here. Just gain some more altitude. We were only roughly 40 meters up. Get a better look around here, guys. We'll head back over that way one more time. It's not too bad for wind here today. It's, it's never exactly what it says on the app. I can tell you that. Unless you go down by the waterfront, then it gets worse. Seems worse by the water for some reason. 132 meters out. Strong signal. It's all full bars. And we'll start heading back. So not too bad today, guys. Uh, nice successful flight. Seems to be working good now, so I am going to keep it. I'm not going to bother sending this back. Uh, see how it is when I get it in the editor anyway. You can't really always tell when the jello is there until you get it in your editor. So that's it, I'm bringing this down. I hope you guys enjoyed today's little flight. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, leave a like and a comment. Make sure those notifications are on, guys, and until the next one, peace and out.